Uh, let's talk about concrete pours and, and Nexum. Uh, in most cases, you're going to use a pump. They're, you're going to be up fairly high, and, and uh, you need to get that concrete up and down through the wall. There are occasions where we've used a conveyor, but it just depends on the conditions and, and what's going to happen. We like to uh, see a fairly high slump with this concrete, so it's fairly wet, maybe a slump of seven. Typically, uh, you work a slump of five, five inches with uh, most concrete, but in this case, we're going fairly wet. The Nexum will dewater it quickly, and it'll absorb that water, and, it, and it'll actually make the concrete harder. We go with uh, 25 MPA, uh, a pumpable mix, so it's going to likely have a pea stone in it, 10 mil, or you know, small round little stones. You can pour this in the winter time, and that in the insulation that's in it will actually uh, help to cure. It won't be a problem. We we poured in very cold weather and, and had no problems whatsoever. The pump, we like to have a four-man crew, so there's generally one guy on the pump and two guys just eyeing what's going on, helping move things around and making sure that everything's flowing. The, the pour flow is generally we will go three feet high and we'll go all around the building and then we'll go up another three feet and then we'll do the last, the last touch. Uh, vibrating is important. Consolidation, all concretes should be consolidated. We use a one inch pencil vibrator and, and just run it down quickly. The concept is to consolidate, it's not to move concrete. It's a good idea to have some, just be ready for any type of problem. So you've got somebody, one of the crew members is gonna just be watching what's going on, making sure that the concrete's getting down to the bottom and it's flowing properly. At the same time, they'll have some plywood and some screws ready in case there is an issue and they need to scab something on and and firm up some bracing or, or uh, firm up some block. Uh, the nice thing about pouring this wet concrete into uh, the Nexum is that it will flow really well. That's the idea, because you are creating a, a honeycomb. You're not, it, it needs to flow through the different cavities in the block.